Welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Jeannie Hodes. Thanks for joining me. We are at the Truman Presidential Library in Independence, Missouri with Kansas State Senator Julia Lynn. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be here. Thanks. So you um, are talking about some legislation aimed at reforming how the state's star bonds are handled and kind of how that relates to economic development in general. Um, first off, can you tell us a little more about what star bonds are and why they're so important to some Kansas communities? Absolutely. Well, they're an important economic development tool, first of all, and they're utilized nationwide. Um, we have about seven active star bond projects going right now, and basically what they do is they're started on the local level, um, there's a request made for a certain project. Now the project needs to be a destination project. That's the key. So the key with these is we want to draw people from um, not only the region but out of state to, to come and spend money in Kansas. Now that tax revenue that is generated from these districts, these star bond districts, are then used to pay off the bonds um, that the developers have taken out, once those bonds are paid off, then the money flows for, from sales tax revenue directly to the state. Um, so what's your concern about how they're being used right now? Well, I think what has happened is we have not had close enough oversight over the Star Bonds program. Um, basically, there's a lot of gamemanship that happens on the ground with developers. And, and that's, that's just the way it's going to operate. But once we discovered that there was a $42 million deficit in our budget for this past year, and it was traced back to the fact that, the, that someone had expanded the boundaries of the district so they could capture active star bond district tax money to help fund their project. That's not the original intent of what we suggested when we passed the legislation several years ago, because what we have to remember is that any economic development is taxpayer money, and it is the legislature's duty to oversee taxpayer dollars. And if there is something happening that, that smells wrong, we, it is our duty to go in and fix that, and that's what we did. We worked with the developers this session um, to come to a compromise. I feel pretty confident about it. We'll see how it rolls out. One of the most important things I think that we did was that we have created, a, 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 by law, um, a report on star bond projects annually to the Senate Commerce Committee and to the House um, Economic Development Committee so that the legislature knows exactly how much money is being generated, how that mon money is used, and whether it's even providing the results that were intended. So how does this kind of fit into the overall picture here of economic development? Well, I think it's um, just part of what we do. Um, we have many other programs, the PEAK program, we've got HPIP program, those are all based on incentives for companies that actually come in and produce jobs. Um, so, and those, those are working very well. Uh, we do have to have a little bit closer oversight on those because sometimes when you're a legislator making policy, you're not, implement, you're not implementing that policy. So you're entrusting that to a division or a department to implement. And, and we kind of, we don't circle back enough and, and, and have them come in and say, show us what's happening, we wanna see the data, is this producing? Because if it's not, this is taxpayer money that's being squandered. And we don't want to be in that position. So, but otherwise, our tax policy as well is part of economic development. Um, as you know, in 2012, we passed a rather um, aggressive tax package. Um, it is working. There are pieces of that that um, are questionable as to how it's being practiced on the ground. So I do think we need to go back in 2017 and look at the original intent of that policy. Sounds like you got a lot of work to do next We week. do. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Newsmakers.